Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you my top five favorite jewelry pieces that I wear every day. My top five everyday wear jewelry pieces. <laughs> Anyways, you get the idea. So we are in my new office, my newly decorated and rearranged office. I worked with a Toronto company called C and We, which means yes and yes in two different languages. And I will have like a full video breakdown of that. I don't know if it'll be up or not when this video goes live because I don't know how much my shit will be together, but stay tuned. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just gonna go over some of the pieces that I wear every day from like earrings, rings, necklaces, and bracelets. I get a lot of questions about it on Instagram and YouTube, so that's what we're doing today. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel, this one that you're watching right now, Julian Lansky, and my Instagram handle is at the August Diaries if you want to follow me there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get closer. Okay, we're gonna start with my necklaces. My necklace kind of layering situation changes all the time, depending on if I get a new piece or just feel like switching it up but I do tend to do like the stacking like this a lot, but this is what I'm currently wearing and I'll just share with you some of my favorite designers as well. So, this piece right here is Zoe Chico. She's an LA based designer and I love her dearly. We are like kind of social media friends even though we haven't met in person. She made my bridesmaids custom necklaces with their initials for my wedding and that's really special to me. So this is like a diamond choker kind of thing. I pretty much wear this all the time. This is like one of the constants. This next piece is from Majuri, which is a Toronto-based Canadian jewelry designer. And they have really good gold and like fine jewelry for a really good price. They have some diamonds in there as well. But I really like the curb chain on this and I like the length of it as well. This next one is from Canadian designer Jenny Bird. Love her to death. She is a wonderful designer and also a lovely person and has the coolest style. She's just awesome. So this is just like a really simple chain from Jenny Bird and pretty much almost up wearing all Canadian designers. This one is a new necklace from Leah Alexandra. It's called the Albert necklace. She based it on like the other side of the watch fob or something. It was like a very old English piece of the gentleman's watch fob or something like that. I should let her tell this, but this is called the Albert and I just thought it was so cool. I love the different design of the chain. And then this last one right here is from Pamela Card Jewelry. She makes the most amazing pendants. I've been wearing them for years. She has this beautiful Aphrodite amulet, which was, I think, my first necklace from her, and it's one of my favorites, but it's just stunning. I mean, all of these designers are really talented. So that is my neck party, I suppose you could say. In terms of layering, I like to do different chain textures and styles. I like to do a lot of different lengths so that you're not like overlapping any of the jewels. And I like to play with shapes of necklaces so I don't like to necessarily have them all round like all the way down. Like I have this other Pamela card one that's like a little bit like a rectangle that I love pairing with round necklaces. And then I like pairing like this one because it's a little bit different with the round as well. Okay. Let's go into ears. I'll show you my my ear party. It's hard to like talk and see. Okay, I recently got some newer piercings and they are from Anzi Jewelry, which is a Canadian, they're from Montreal, kind of like demi fine jewelry company. And that's what this one is and this one right here, these two. I don't know why my ears are red right now because they're healing really well. So these two are Anzi. This little tiny diamond stud is from Majuri. This spike one is from Maria Tash. 
I ordered it online. It is not cheap and honestly, I don't know if I would do that again. I found a dupe on Shopbop that I'll link as well for you. This one right here is Majuri and then this one is Zoe Chico. That's one side. Okay, the other side, I actually don't have matching here right now because I fucking lost one of these in an Uber and I'm so mad about it. I'm gonna have to replace it. But this one is from Anzi. This is also newly pierced. And so is this one, these two uppermost. So it's just one stud, but it's got three little pieces. And then again, this one is Majuri. This long dangly one is called Jack and Joe, which is the same like parent company as Anzi. They own Jack and Joe and Anzi. And this one is Anzi jewelry. Those are my, my ears. What else? Okay, I'll do my rings. So my rings also change up a little bit as well, but I've had tons of questions, especially on this one, so I wanted to address them. This pinky ring is from Zoe Chico. This was a bit of a splurge that I did on a shop up sale, but I also wear this Jenny Bird pinky ring as well. I'll just show you what it looks like. And there's also a Majuri, which I don't have handy right now. It's the Croissant pinky ring that I really like. So those are kind of three options. This one is actually my mom's ring. She gave it to me. It was the wedding ring from her and my father who are no longer together, but I'm super lucky and they're really good friends. So I just, I love this ring and it still like represents family to me. So it's very meaningful to me. She actually got it in Australia. It is super, super gorgeous. It's gold and then it's got onyx and then a tiny little diamond in the middle. This one right here is Majuri. This is like one of the first pieces that I got from them. This one is Leah Alexandra. It's just a thin little thumb ring, bringing back the thumb ring. And then on this side, this one is also Leah Alexandra and it doesn't go fully around, I guess so that you can adjust the the size. I don't know if you can see the detail on it, but it's really gorgeous. And then this one is my engagement ring and my wedding ring. This is from a Toronto-based jeweler, Studio 1098. Andrew worked with her to custom design this ring. It is my favorite piece of jewelry ever. It's a black diamond and then it has gold and it's got a diamond halo and it's kind of vintage inspired. And then my wedding ring is just really, really simple to kind of go with it as well. And then my arm party, I suppose you could say. Let's go small to big. This one is a tiny little curb chain from Leah Alexandra. She has this really cool thing in her studio in Vancouver called Spark Sessions. This bracelet actually doesn't come off. There's no clasp or anything just because it's been like soldered on they have this like little electrical way of soldering the metal together. So you basically have like a forever bracelet. My mom and I did them together. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt. It's soldered, not soldered. You don't say the L, even though it's written like that. Okay, apparently it's soldered, not soldered. <laughs> so there you go. I guess I actually have like three versions of curb chains here, which is kind of cool. This one is Majuri. It matches the one on my neck. And this one right here is Jenny Bird. And something I love about this bracelet is that it has a magnetic clasp. So it's so easy to put on. And yeah, I didn't realize they were all curved chains. Jenny Bird has a version of this that's a choker that is unbelievable. It's obviously not something that I wear every day, but it's such a beautiful statement piece. That's my, I guess, top five, like, Pieces, I, that was definitely not five, but let's just, we're just continuing with the top five vein. So I usually get questions about my hair, so I do have a tutorial on that. It's super easy and doesn't take longer than 10 minutes. I just will not do my hair if it takes longer than that. And I also have 
top five makeup brushes, top five makeup essentials that kind of make up this look as well. This t-shirt is from Uncle Studios, which is a Toronto-based clothing company run by Allegra Shaw, who's a YouTuber, and her friend Sharin, and it's awesome. So, gotta support local, guys. Gotta do it. All this stuff is, is available online, though, as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I will have everything linked in the description box or linked on the blog post, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!